In this video, we're going to use the device's native geolocation to show the local weather. So let's start by adding an object to our class where we can store the local weather. And now we'll create a class method that we'll call when this page is created that will find our current location and then request the weather from our web service at that location. Now inside our weather service, we're going to implement this local method that's going to take our latitude and longitude and return the current local weather. To get our current position, we're going to be using Ionic Native's geolocation. It's a Cordova plugin that you'll import using Ionic Native and then call geolocation.getCurrentPosition to get a promise with latitude and longitude in the callback. So let's start by installing this Cordova plugin. Once the plugin finishes installing, we'll import geolocation from Ionic Native. This will give us access to geolocation inside our local method. Using geolocation.getCurrentPosition will get a success handler that we can use to extract the latitude and longitude. We now have everything we need to make our request to the weather API in order to get back the current local weather. But in order to use this local method from our home page, we're going to need to be able to wrap all of this in some sort of delayed response like a promise or observable in order for our home page to consume it. So I'm going to use the observable from the RxJS NPM module that we already have as part of our project. This will allow me to create my own observable that I can wrap the geolocation and weather service response into. I can then just call observer.next once those two have finished to pass back the response to my home page. To finish up, I'll add in this equal sign I forgot earlier for the longitude parameter, and then I'll return this observable to consume my home page. The result of this observable will be the current weather at my location, which I'll assign to the local weather instance variable so that I can display it in my home page template. We'll display the local weather like we do the other city weathers. So let me copy and paste the existing one and modify the variables for the local weather. Now if we refresh our app, we'll automatically see the weather at our current location.